Greetings. That's west. That's south. East. And north. So, pretty much shade all day. Get like a good three to four hours of sunlight, I'm estimating. It gets filtered through the trees. <clears throat> um, this is what this looked like <clears throat> four years ago. What would actually look like this is the black patch. But now we've got some Jerusalem artichokes coming back up, a composting system, first bay, second bay. I, this was a third bay, but I planted potatoes, got potatoes coming up. <clears throat> and then there is, um, this one's called a uh, nipple wart. And there's some garlic mustard in here. It's like it could be used as a sub, uh, spinach substitute. We got some wild amaranth back there. Dandelion greens. Uh, I think this one's called, um, oh, buttercup. I forget what that one's called, but it puts on a nice little yellow flower. <clears throat> So basically just turned it into like a pollinator garden. We got some raspberries. About to put out their flower. So there's raspberries, black raspberries, ferns. Got one fern actually. The garlic mustard going to seed. Non-native, but can also be used as a herb or food. And then here's all the Jerusalem artichokes coming up. And then there's a whole bunch of little... Oh, those are cottonwood. Those are baby cottonwood uh, seedlings. That dropped down from that cottonwood tree. <clears throat> and that's basically what we got going on here. And then we got this wood here because it was really wet. And this is like a low spot. So now I don't have to get squishy feet and get uh, the apartment muddy. And then I threw some pumpkins here on the compost pile. Now there's pumpkins coming up. I don't know how much fruit they'll make with the... I think this is forget me not <clears throat> and that's a cloud buster but if you want to know more about that let me know in the comments um oh and there's some red clover in there some goldenrod so a whole bunch of things so what i've learned from this is many things but if I could sum it up and just like a little bit of something to end a video one thing it would be that if you let a lawn grow it eventually turns into a forest And if you, you know, continue to clear, then <clears throat> nothing will ever be there. And if 
even if something doesn't look like uh, it gets it doesn't get a lot of sun no it's if something seems too shady to grow anything odds are that it can grow something it just uh, you just need to find the right plants. So, one love wholeness. And this is a permaculture observation slash demonstration site update. So, one love wholeness. One extra note is that it acts like a uh, filtration kind of garden so when I'm out here sometimes there's like somebody blowing their uh, dryer vent or maybe somebody has on like some uh, perfume or something and this can kind of like when the air blows kind of gets filtered through there and so when it rains too if it was all just like that um, <clears throat> then the water would just like flow off and it would just become more saturated because the water wouldn't be able to penetrate as well but if you have more plants growing it absorbs more of the water so by having stuff grow here it's helping with the excessive um, wetness of this site. Something that I've learned too is uh, if you have, if your site's too dry, you need to plant more plants. And if your site's too wet, you need to plant more plants. So plant more plants and have a great day.